Hello guys, it's Obi here. And um, today I thought I might as well bring you an unboxing slash review of my XP7 headset, which I got which I got from the Britain's Got Gamers event, which I was one of the 10 winners. So thanks Total Beach for that. Um, they actually sent me this headset a couple of days ago um, and I've actually been using it since. So that's, if that's why some of the um, packaging or wrappers uh, isn't on some of the items, that's why. And as you can see there, I've got one of the wires actually there because if you've ever taken something out of the box you'll know that you'll never be able to fit it back in properly the right way right as you can see by this headset um as you can read round about here let's see if my camera will focus um i'm recording this with a phone at the moment so sorry if it's bad quality um as you can see it's the mlg pro circuit headset it says it's the official headset of mlg which is a big step for turtle beach um and, and I owned a PX21 and I knew they were pretty decent quality, but you know, for them to jump straight in as the official headset is amazing. Let me turn the box over. Right, on the side here, you, it tells you what different things you can use this for. As you can see, you can use it for the console, the PC slash Mac, and for mobile, game, uh, for mobile phones and tablets. And um, if you look down also, you know the actual XP7 faceplate, you can get customizable ones on them. Turn it over to the back. Right, on the back of this, you know, it shows you what the different bits are and like all the different languages. So I'm not going to read that because that'll take me forever. And on the side, you have what the audio control unit does and all the different presets and um, what each different bit does. And let's go on to actually unboxing this. Right, as you can see, it came in a nice, sorry about that, that's just like the wrapper bit off the front bit. It came in this nice like sleeve. Um, so that's good. All right now onto the actual box. It's a nice, nicely made box um, where it has Turtle Beach number one in gaming audio engraved or embossed into the box. As you can see, it's like a magnetic, magnetic bit on the side. All right, so let's get this open. All right now, this is the main part. This is the headset. Let me just. Oh my god, pain in the ass to get out. All right, let me get that out and throw that to one side. I'm not throw it. Right, basically this here is like a little manual where, which everything comes in. You just get it out, if I can. It's hard doing this with one hand. Right, as you can see, let me lay this down. You get some nice Turtle Beach stickers, which I'm not gonna use. You get a warranty piece of paper. You get the quick a quick start guide, which you can see. Um, that just tells you what bits of bits you get a preset reference now this is really really a really good thing um, my favorite one is number seven number eight number eight when I'm the last guy left in search and destroy I'll just turn it up and I can hear him the other side of the map all right so that's all that that was in this like little sleeve bit all right now on to the wires uh, cables and accessories now let me move the box up for a second now as I'm saying this all did come in like plastic wrapping. As you can see, it's a mess now because I tried to get it back into the box. And for those of you who have ever tried to get anything out of a box and try and fit it back in, you know it's near enough impossible. Right, let me start with this wire. As you can see, this wire is the USB to mini USB wire, and that plugs into the console box, which I'll show you later on. And moving on to this wire, this is a bit of a mess. Um, this this is a optical cable to optical cable well I suppose that's the only one way it will go um, but that will plug into the console box which I'll show you later as well all right now moving on this is the actual microphone um, this this is a detachable microphone oh sorry it's of really good quality as you can see it bends any way that you want you can you know do all that kind of stuff with it it's a pretty amazing really sensitive microphone but I'll get onto that later. All right, let me get the. Oh my god, I seem to pull three wires out at once. All right, now we move on to the headphone, the actual thing that connects the headphone to the audio control unit. Um, as you can see, it's like, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a multi pin adapter to a 3.5 millimeter jack, and that actually plugs into the bottom of the unit. 
I'll show you, like I said, again, I will show you that later. All right, now this is where the mobile gaming actually comes into it. Uh, not mobile gaming, mobiles actually come into it. As you can see, this has a button on it, so you know you can mute your mic. Um, it has an actual, I don't know if you can see that, right there, it's got like a little hole where a little microphone would be. So you can actually, you know, unplug it from the control unit, go out, wear it, take out the microphone, go use it as something like that. And that, as I just said, just plugs into, this, this end will plug into your mobile phone or your tablet or some, anything else like that. Now this wire here is actually a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. That plugs into the bottom of the audio control unit so you can listen to your um, music while you're playing your games. And believe me, I've done this. Um, you can tell the difference straight away. You know, you can still hear the game sound. You can hear your music crisp, clear. They're amazing. All right, now onto this wire is the Xbox 360. I don't know if you can read that. Really bad quality camera, even though it says it's a good one, but... Anyway, this is the Xbox 360 chat cable. Um, I have I don't use Xbox 360, so I won't be using this. Uh, but I think this just plugs into the, from the bottom of the control unit to the bottom of your control. I don't know where you plug it in on the Xbox, but that'll do. And here you have the audio control extender cable, which I haven't had to use, so that's why it's still in its packaging. And that did come in this box, but I can't get the box closed again when I put it back in there. Right, now we move on to the audio control unit. You know, it's a really, really nice piece of kit. Um, let me just get this open. Uh, as, I, as I said before, this all did come in packaging. But like I said, because I've used it for a couple of days, this is not in packaging. All right, this is the Turtle Beach audio control reference card. You know, you open it up and it's a bigger, bigger, I think, is, is that scale? Now, almost a scale. Um, this is kind of a guide on what each button does. Um, you know, you click on each, what, well, you can't click on the piece of paper, obviously, but you know, it tells you what each bit does. You know, you surround sound, you speak at angles, you mic, mute, mute your mic, yeah, mute your mic, and you gain volume wheel in the middle. I move on to the actual device itself. Um, as you can see, you've got different presets. When it's actually on, there's a button on the side, on, off. Um, you've got, so you can, uh, what's it called? Monitor your own microphone when you're speaking, you know, so you can actually hear yourself, which is a good addition. Um, I don't know if the PX21 had it, but some people are saying it did, but I couldn't really tell. And um, you've actually got your volume for your music here. Um, so if you've got something plugged into, as you can see, there's three three sockets, here's your music, here's where the main thing goes in and that's where your Xbox chat goes into. And on this side you have the mode button, which I have, honestly have no idea what it does. And here is your chat volume for in-game sounds. All right, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, it says chat and main. Main is just a blend of everything, I think. And chat, you click on chat, then you click either five for high pitched, six for low pitch, and seven for robot. I like using these to troll online, and um, they're pretty good. This It's not actually buttons, it's touchpad. Apart from this button here, I think this mutes everything. Um, turn it up, if you know, turn sound up, turn it down, for turn game sound down. Here you have your 5.1 surround sound. Here you have your, um, what's it called, surround on or off. Here you have your speaker angles. Here you have your microphone mute, as, as you can see it's just touch. Um, here you have your Dolby Digital Surround Sound. I don't know if you can see that because the sun's shining there. Let me put my hand here. Um, there you've got that there. And you've got your master game volume here, which you just click. And then it just, you know, you can turn it up from there. As I said, it's got a nice button there. And on the end of this wire, it's got a multi-pin adapter and a USB. And that goes into the box, um, which I'm about to show you. All right, now, moving back over to the headset. Let me just take off this. Um... This little box is a pain to get out this packaging. I don't know why I start actually stuck it back in there. But moving on to the headphones, they are really, really comfy. Um, they're amazing build quality. I mean, look how chunky this is. Look how nice this, nicely foamed this is. I mean, this is amazing. Um, on the top, I don't know if you can, well, let me turn it around because that's upside down. It actually says Turtle Beach um, written on the top. And as you can see there, it's got some nice stitching 
under on the underside. And here it's actually memory foam ear ear pads, so look, you can see the bounce back on that. It's amazing. I mean, I've played out out like six, seven, eight hours straight with these on. I, I even forgot they were on my head at one point, so you know I would walk out the room with them. But you know I'm obviously connected by here. But you know that's what that's what kind of headphones you want. You want them to be nice and comfy. Um, as you can see, see here, it's the as I said the XP7s. Um, it's got some nice chrome or whatever that is there. As you can see, you can see the MLG badge there again. But these face plates you can actually take off, but I'm not going to take mine off. And now let me move on to this little box. Let me try and push it out of this. Let me try and get this out of here. This is a pain to get out of here. I mean, wow. Who would have thought? It would have been so hard to get a little bit of... A little... A little bit... Oh my god, this is so hard to do. Right, I'm going to pause the video here and wait till I get this out. Right guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see, here's the little the little box. Um, it's still what it's wrapping on because I like to keep everything fresh. Um, this is what what is the main thing. Right, I'll quickly show you how to almost set it up. Um, uh, if, if I can find the wires that I said that I'd be using. Right, here's um, the actual audio control unit. As you can see here, you've got the multi-pin adapter and the USB. This will go into this side here, so let me line them up. Uh, one second. That again, I, I accidentally hit stop recording there for some reason. But as you can see, that is that connected into that side. And then the other side, um, you have this aux auxiliary in, micro USB, optical cable, and optical cable. I don't know if, what the white one's for, but you plug in your... You actually plug in your optical cable into this one here. Let me just quickly plug it in. See, right, you plug that one in there, and then you plug the micro S, uh, micro SD, sorry, micro USB into. Sorry about the bad camera skills here. Into the other one, and then you just plug the other end of the, this USB into your PS3, the front USB port, and um, then you plug this end of the other end of the optical optical cable into the back of your PS3 and you change your sound setting so you can hear through optical cable. Alright, I think that's about it for this unboxing and review. Alright, let me just talk about the review a bit more. As you can see, all right, I'm just going to bring them here. They are really comfy. They grip onto your head really well. As you can see, I'm not putting any effort into pushing them back. They just pull themselves back. They are a really, really amazing product. Um, if if you had the money, I would s suggest going and getting these. There, there are cheaper options out there. I mean, you can just get ones that are just for gaming, ones that are just for PC, and ones that are just for mobile gaming. I'm pretty sure you can anyway. But this is the XP7s. This is for the whole the whole range. Um, I think they're two hundred and forty nine dollars or something. Um, I'm not quite sure on that price range. Um, but I got mine from the Tell Beach, Britain's Got Gamers event, um, so I didn't pay a single thing for mine. Um, these, this is the best gaming headset that you could that you could possibly buy. I mean, Tell Beach are probably the best in sound quality that I that I've used. Um, in fact, they're the only one I've used. Um, I haven't really bothered going for any others because I I knew for a fact Turtle Beach are amazing. So, well, guys, thanks for watching this. You know, this has been my review for my Turtle Beach XP7s. Peace out.